Hi, my name is Eric Rye, and this is my design assignment 3, Digital Lock. As we can see, the clock is running right now, and the lock is in its standby state, unpowered. If we press these buttons, we can see they have no effect. You can see the signal going through, but no action occurs. To start it up, we can press the S button, and you can see the blue LED comes online, which means it is working. First of all, we'll lock the lock. Once it is locked, we can start it up one more time and try and open it. We'll put in a random sequence of numbers, 1, 7, 6, 8, 7, to see if this will unlock it. As we can see, it's an error because the red LED comes up. This means that it was unsuccessful at unlocking it. If we want a successful unlock, we can put in the user code. By default, it's uh, 314, and then we just press U to unlock it. As we can see, it's sent back to standby state, and the lock is now unlocked. We'll power it up one more time, and we'll uh, show the programming state. To get in the programming state, you simply press P. Uh, to program this lock, you need to put in the programming code, which is 161803. Now you need to repeat the user code twice, the new user code you want to put in. For this, we'll use 123, and then press P. It's put in the standby state after this, and that means it was a su successful programming. If not, we would have gotten an error code. We start it up one more time. Let's lock it with the L, and let's try and unlock it with the new code. We put 1, 2, 3, and try to unlock it. As we can see, the unlock worked, which means it was successfully programmed. Uh, now, for error cases, you cannot lock it if you put in number values, because this will change the state. We try and lock it after putting in the code, and we get an error state. This means we have to press S to get out of it, and we can try and unlock it again by starting it up again. If you look down into what's actually going on, we are using D flip-flops to represent each of the states. Down here we have the programming state, and up here we have number entered states, a locking state, an unlocking state, an error state, and just the, the on state, which any command can be given. It can be sent into programming state, locking state, or unlocking state by simply ent entering numbers. Uh, that's all for uh, this project.